What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy more content, you can smash the sub button to be notified of future readings. This free channel is for reading for all signs, Cats, Sag, Sagittarius, or Brian Queen. Don't forget the basics. Stop is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate through the rest. Free channel click for reading. Love you guys. Just saying. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Roll 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love you guys. Okay, so we're going to do another reading. Um, I've got the volume all the way up. I know you, a lot of you guys are complaining, can't hear it, so I'll put it up very close. I do apologize. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was um, someone's ex is stalking their social media business. I heard they are obsessed with um they are obsessed with um what you have going on um as far as financial um i heard they took huge advantage of you in the past um and um yeah that's basically it so <laughs> damn you plug it in how it resonates so somebody's ex is stalking their business their social media business so whoever you are um whoever you are and however this resonates there you have a social media business now you could have one or two plus but you definitely have a social media business and your ex is like seriously stalking it now heard ex so you know there's many types of exes in the world um there it could be a one night stand it could be a sneak could have been a sneaky link it could have been a situation ship it could have been an actual relationship like a boyfriend a girlfriend or a fiance or an ex spouse or baby mama baby daddy kind of situation but how that resonates, it's some kind of X energy, whether you were serious or not serious. But I heard they were stalking, like stalking your social media platform. So I think they're like um, your business. So social media platform business. So they are just like super creepy lurking your business, man. They're super creepy lurking it. And um, I heard they know they took advantage, huge advantage of you in the past. So somehow they took huge advantage of you whoever you are and how this applies um only you know your situation and story not anybody else but they took huge freaking advantage of you but they know they did so they're not telling you that they um are secret sleuth stalking your social media business because they know they took huge advantage of you i'm sure if they come out and just say it in the text or the messages or communicate it with you You'd probably blast them all over social freaking media and that's what i would do um and if you did that i wouldn't blame you so that's probably why they're super sleuth stalking your social media business is what i'm trying to say wow so for whoever this applies but you definitely have at least one online social media business i heard they're obsessed with um your financials so they want to know how much you make how you're doing how well you're doing financially um they want to know i uh, probably how much you're bringing in or what have you what have you but whoever you are i don't feel you're communicating with them or at least i hope you're not um definitely not communicating with them and it's driving them crazy okay it's confirmation i heard you're definitely not communicating with them it's driving them crazy so you're not in energetic communication with them, whoever you are, whatever sign you are, you're not energetic communication with them, but it's driving them crazy because they want to know about money. It's because it's money. It's not about um, love or feelings here. It is about mental obsession with your money, if this resonates. Um, and I heard they know they took huge advantage of you in the past. So I think they might have made mega bucks off of you in the past is what I feel. For some of you and i'm just real um because they if they took advantage of you it was either in the sexual realm the financial realm or maybe they mentally abused you or physically abused you but um i feel for some it could have been money um some it could have been financial some it could have been mental physical or um what have you or sexual but um, i feel for a lot of you guys it's probably money but you plug it in because somehow they took a huge advantage of you Spare messages you have reflected. Community. 
Lantern. I heard take them both. Okay, we have Community and Lantern. The community has uh, kept very quiet about these exes that have taken huge advantage of you, financially taken advantage of you, and abused and exploited you. But through many series of chain of events, they're about to go very public with it, and it's about to humiliate the hell out of these exes. Humiliate them. Some of these exes are about to end up in huge legal trouble because of previous court cases where they took money that was supposed to be for you and they did not give it to you. Some stole from you to make money off your back. Sexy photos and videos. Some of these exes are going to end up in jail soon through many series of chain events. Some are going to have to pay very, 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 very large fines legally and have to pay money back. Holy crap. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's juicy. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So the community is about to illuminate the fact that they have taken advantage of you, basically, with the community and the lantern. Um, wow. So the community is about to illuminate the fact that they uh, are taking advantage, have taken advantage of you financially. For some of these exes, they went to court situations. I heard previous court situations in the past. They were supposed to get money for you, but I heard they never gave you the money. They never gave you the money. Um, so however they spent the money or invested the money or whatever they did with the money, um, I'm assuming in those, they're going to have to, through many series of chain business, they're going to have to pay it back. I'm assuming. Um, or maybe that's the one they'll have to pay very, very large fines and fees. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. But some of us, so, oh, okay, so for some, they went to previous court situations in the past, claimed they were getting money for you, but when they left the courthouse, got the money, what have you, what have you, they never invested it in you, never gave it to you, never told you about it. None of that. They just went off in their own merry little way and spit and invested however they wanted to do it and never even notified you is what I'm feeling. Never notified you, period. Never notified you, period. This confirmation. So they never notified you, period. But they went into the court of law pretending like they were there for you um, and on your behalf and things like that. But I feel for some of you guys, you hadn't even seen these people. Like, you know, like, they're like huge-ass scammers, spammers, and frauds, and cons. Huge cons. Huge. Confirmation. Huge cons. Huge. Yeah. I, if they're, they're huge cons. I'm sure they haven't even communicated with you or told you or what have you, what have you. This is some jacked-up shit, man. They need to be behind bars to learn a damn lesson about what they did, and that's just the damn truth. And I'm just being for real, for real. Uh, but, um, uh, they are so afraid you're about to be successful and they are right you are okay I heard that's confirmation of my, my kitty fat boy I heard they're so afraid you're about to be successful and I heard you're right, uh, they're right you are so that's probably another reason why they're stalk stalking and lurking your social media business because they're so afraid you're going to be successful but I heard they're right you are you are going to be um, but they can't you know the thing is, is okay so what they stole from you they stole from you. Some, they stole your sexy photos or videos in the past, and they took advantage of you that way. But I, I feel ex, uh, selling the photos to maybe pervy, creepy, pedo-type people, or maybe not even pedo people, but pervy, creepy people, uh, maybe they put them on a porn site. Maybe they put them on a sexy site. Maybe they put them on Pornhub. Maybe they did it out in the community. But somehow... They utilized your sexy photos of the past for one of you guys and made money off of it. And they took advantage of you that way. So financial abuse and stole your personal property, i.e. your photos. One, it was videos even. 
So I don't know if you consented to the photo, uh, the videos, or they did it through hidden camera, or what have you, what have you. But somehow they saw videos of you, either put them on some kind of, if it was sexy type stuff, on some kind of sexy site, or out in the community, or if it wasn't sexy videos, some kind of videos of you that made money, financial abuse, without your consent authorization. Some of you guys, they went to previous court situations and claimed they were there for you, but you haven't even been in communication with them. And they haven't communicated with you that they have received all this money in court situations. But that's about to backfire on them too, because I heard they're about to have to pay very large fees and fines, and in some situations have to give all the money back, every penny. So the community knows. The community knows we've got uh, Lantern and community, and I feel for some of you guys, community know is known for a hot minute. They have known for a long time, but these people, through unexpected series of chain events, strange things are about to start happening to them legally, negatively, legally. And they're not going to like them regarding theft of you in the past. Okay, I heard the community community knows and they've known for years. So they've known for years. And um, I heard, it sounds like it's about to be a series of misfortunate events kind of thing. Because I heard um, strange things are about to start happening to them legally. Uh, negative legal things regarding you and theft of you in the past and I heard they're not going to like them so I think that could be the fees the fines or receiving some kind of negative legal communication as far as the previous court situations about having to pay all the money back or if they frauded and sold your pictures out in the community or online maybe they get legal communication from the site or platform that they posted your sexy photos or, or videos or what have you what have you on if it was online like through an OnlyFans or a you, uh, Pornhub or what have you, what have you. I didn't hear, you know, OnlyFans or Pornhub or any of that, but I'm just saying, okay? These people, their karmic masculine energies, they really need to grow the hell up. And through many series of chain events, they're about to be forced to financially. They, for, they are wrong for what they did, and they know they are. Okay. I heard they were wrong for what they did, and they know they are. So, they were, they're stalking your social media business, ma'am. Um, you're, you're a femme. I think you're divine femme. And, um... The karmic masculine exes of your past are basically stalking your social media platform um, because they know they've taken advantage of you in all those ways in the past. Definite financial abuse. Definite, if not sexual exploitation with sexy photos and videos. And I'm just being for real. I mean, they've done the most. They've done the most. But I feel you're divine feminine. You're definitely a divine feminine. Okay, definitely a divine fem. So that's confirmation. You're definitely a divine fem. They are karmic masculines, and they have basically just used and abused and exploited you. But I feel it's more like sexism energy. Like, they want domination and control and power over you, is what I feel. Um, or they did. So they used it as means of exploitation through sexy photos and videos. Or, um, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm here to help her in the court of law. And really, they went out and spent all the money on their home or their property or their vehicle or their boat or their... ATV or what have you, what have you, and haven't told you shit. Wow. These karmic masculines are about to ever regret it. There's about to be a huge leak of information, huge leak of information on these people to the right people. And it's about to create a negative domino effect for them as far as legal communication. Okay, I heard uh, there's about to be a huge uh, leak of information of these people. So these karmic masculines to you, Divine Femme, uh, they're your exes of your past in some shape, form, or fashion. You were sexually connected to them in some shape, form, or fashion. 
whoever these people are. One you were not sexually connected to, but he claimed he was in a relationship with you. You used to work with him, ex-co-worker. Okay, so karmic masculine, ex-energy, strong, divine, fem. But in one situation, it is not an ex. It is a, um, I heard you were never sexually connected to him in any shape, form, or fashion. He's an ex-co-worker. He was an ex-co-worker. Um, so a lot of exes, a lot of karmic masculine exes, and one ex-co-worker of yours, karmic ex-co-worker. And I heard he uh, claimed he was in a relationship with you, but he never was. So however that resonates and applies, divine fem. But I heard um, there's about to be a huge leak of information here. Huge leak of information. Um, I feel your community members that did not stand up for years and knew this shit was going on, they're about to stand up and illuminate it to the um, high, um, important people, at, I think, in the courthouse or the legal system or something like that. Because somehow, or maybe the sheriff's office or the police department or something, however that resonates, but however that works, I guess. I don't know, but... Um, somehow the leak of information is about to get, though, all over the place to where it's going to create a series of misfortunate events to where these people are about to get negative legal communication. Um, regarding you and these, all these court cases, they made money off of you, or all these sexy photos they made money off of you, where they stole your photos to begin with, and then they not only stole your property, but they made money off your sexy photos. So, they were... I mean, that's, that is terrible. That is so terrible. And they did all this behind the scenes because they didn't want you to know they were such a terrible person. But <laughs> I think whoever you are, I think you're highly intuitive and you know they're a terrible person. That's probably why you're not with their ass anyways. And that's just the truth. Um, <laughs> there's a reason people break up and there's a reason people um, leave karmic partners. And that's just the truth. But, um, but, um, I think they wanted control and dominance over you in the money department is what I'm saying. I heard they've been stalking your business, wondering how much you're making, wondering how much like money input you're inputting and you're bringing in. They're obsessed with your financial. Why don't they go out and grow and manifest their own self? And I'm just being for real. Some of these people have made money. They got large amounts of money for businesses. And they're tanking. And they will continue to tank. But, the, but they're about to have to pay the money back. And they're about to be pissed. Oh my God. So, this is terrible. So some of these people got large amounts of money for businesses, I heard. Um, but through many series of chain events, they're about to have to pay the money back. And they're about to have to be pissed. Now, wherever they got the money from, I don't know if it's a fast cash loan place. Uh, it sounds like some kind of loan energy um, or however they obtain, obtained it. I don't know, but it definitely is not a grant energy, I'll tell you that. That's not grant. And somehow they obtained money for businesses. I heard that businesses are tanking, but they're meeting serious change business out to pay the money back. So however they obtained the money, it sounds like some kind of loan energy. Um, might be from a loan shark or something. I don't know. But somehow they're about to have to pay it back. But the community is about to get involved in this and shine the light on this. It all started with you, ma'am. Um, you are a person of their past. Somehow they used you as like a footstool for the money-making machine. Um, and they're, now they want to know how much you're making. But it's not about love and compassion and um, caring and affection, it's about money. So I would be careful. I would be wary. Uh, it's a lot of karmic masculines that you were sexually connected to in some shape, form, or fashion in your past. X energy. And one co-worker in your past that claimed he was with you as a partner or a sexual partner or what have you, what have you. Your boo thing, what have you, what have you. But I heard y'all never were. You were just co-workers. So however that resonates and applies, but light's about to be shown on it. They're about to receive series of misfortune events as far as legal, negative legal situations. I heard large fines, large fees, paying money back from court situations, um, all kinds of crazy shit. So however that resonates, let me see if I hear anything else. I'm going to pull one more. 
I heard they're so afraid you're going to be successful, and I heard they're right you are going to be. In more than one way. In more than one way. So I heard they're so afraid you're going to be successful, but I heard that you're going to be, but I heard in more than one way. So you're going to be successful in more than one way. But your exes of the past are so worried about this shit. So worried. You can't make this crap up even if you wanted to. Oh my God. That's my karmic card here in this deck. This is my karmic card. I heard karmic masculines of your past. Um, one of them claimed they were with you as like a partner or a boo thing or a sex partner or what have you. But I heard you never even with that person. That was the ex-co-worker. Karmic, man. You can't make this crap up if you wanted to. Karmic card. For real, for real. Secrets coming out with the illumination in the community. Holy crap a moly. Karmic masculines. Slimy, grimy karmics. Karmic card all day long. Oh my god. One of these people, people do not want to work with them anymore because they know they're a huge thief already. One of these people, they're about to lose their job soon. Okay, I heard one of these people, people do not want to work with them already because they know they, um, they know they stole from you in the past. So, secrets have come out that, um, they stole from you in the past, took advantage of you in the past. I wonder if they know they're, that they're lurking your um, social media business, ma'am. I'm just saying, just saying, wondering how much you're making. Um, that's creepy in itself, too. But so for one of these karmic masculine people you were sexually connected to in the past or the ex-co-worker that claimed he was with you like that or what have you, what have you, and y'all never were, um, secrets are coming out. On one of these people, at least one of these people, people don't want to work with them because they know that um, you stole, that they stole from you in the past already and for one i heard they're about to get terminated soon so i think it's a rightful termination and not a wrongful termination but you plug it in how it resonates and one of these people is about to be arrested for a child pedophile ring connection to a child pedophile ring and one of these people is about to be connected to a coven serious coven situation of the past coven death this person is about to be shot. Oh, man, this is deep. Okay, so, um, okay, so one of the, okay, so we have the one that, one of them nobody wants to work with because they know they're a huge ass thief and they know they stole from you. Um, that's for one, at least one of these karmic mask ones. For one, they're about to lose their job soon. I feel right for termination, or wrong, not wrong for termination. For one, um, they're about to be connected to COVID deaths of the past soon. I heard they're about to be shot. So um, I think they're about to be connected to some kind. There sounds like there was some kind of cold cases regarding um, cold case deaths. But they're about to be, have already been connected to a COVID um, case. Or they're about to be connected to a COVID case. But their previous cold case deaths, deaths of the past and it's our deaths. So two or two plus deaths. But one of these people is about to be connected to the deaths. I heard they're about to be shot. So they're about to be connected into this. Um, oh my God almighty. Whoa, that's some strong shit. And through many shocking series of chain events, for one, your sister is about to throw one of these people under the bus. About to call in with important information. Damning information on them. A recent murder. Holy God a moly. Whoa. 
Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. So, oh my God. Okay. And for one of you guys, your sister is about to call in, I heard, on one of these people, one of these karmic masculines. I didn't realize we we're going to go so long. On one of these karmic masculines, um, I heard a recent murder. Um, call in on information on a recent murder. Um, so I think one of Good God. Um, so I'd stay away from these people. Only you know who these people are, not anybody else. But I'd be staying the hell away from karmic masculines in my past. And that's just the truth for real for real. Somebody, oh my God. So for one of these karmic masculines, apparently they were connected with some kind of recent murder of the past. Um, somehow for one of you guys, your sister is connected to him. Um, and she's about to call in and basically betray him and give important information on this recent murder um secrets coming out on the recent our recent murder so there was some kind of recent murder in the universe and your sister has some kind of information on it and it's he uh, she is about to betray him and call in and give information on him with the recent murder death i murder but secrets coming out on the recent murder my god almighty I wonder if that's connected to the Coven too. Holy shit. Karmic. Masculine. Stay away, you guys. See, secrets coming out with illumination. For one of you guys, it's your sister about to call in on this. Oh, my God. Whoa. He is going to be shot. He is not going to get away with it. He thought he was. He's very sadistic. Oh my God! I heard, oh my God! I heard he's going to be shocked. He's not going to get away with it. He's very sadistic. So, but your sister has information on this, ma'am, Divine Finn. Your sister has information on him, the sadistic karmic masculine. This got very deep, very left, very quick. Um, and she's about to call in on it. Some kind of recent murder in the universe. Oh my God! I heard he's not going to get away with it. He thought he was going to, but it's your sister about to call in on that. Um, secrets coming out. Illumination on the recent murder. Maybe she lives in your community or his community or somebody's community. Um, maybe the recent murder was in her community or your community or his community. Oh, Lord. Power. It's going to give power here. Huh? And transformation. Yeah. Holy shit. Holy. This is deep. All right. Let me see if I hear anything else. It'd be smart to stay very away from these people. Divine Femme, positive, very positive things are about to happen for you, but you need to stay away from these people. Okay. So I heard it be, uh, I heard it stay away from these people. So Divine Femme, stay away from your karmic masculines of the past and that crazy, creepy ex coworker that claims he was with you as like some kind of romantic partner or twin flame or sex partner or something but i heard y'all never were you never were i think he came claimed it's the community y'all were but i heard you never were you were just co-workers so him and all the other string of exes you have that you were sexually connected to in some shape or fashion her to stay away from stay away from them because shit's about to start getting real for them and i'm just being for real but the divine message in that was to stay away from them of course, you can have free will and go towards them if you want. But stay away from them because somebody is dealing with some very dark exes. We've got COVID connections in here. We've got a recent murder. We've got all kinds of shit. So um, I would stay away. But, of course, you can take the advice or leave it, okay? I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Love you guys. Namaste.